Now I'm aware of the fact that I'm starting to come across as the miserable sod of this industry. So I thought I'd turn things on their head this time around and just share with you some of what's happened in the past couple of days. First of all, we issued our latest edition of Demolition TV and the response to it has been amazing, really, really impressed. We also launched the latest edition of the Demolition magazine and the feedback on that has been very, very good as well. Particularly uh, our Light and the Dark uh, article, which I'll link to in the description as well. But more than that, more than just good feedback on some of the things that we've done, has been some of the personal feedback that we've received. Now, first of all, we had a couple of emails and a couple of phone calls relating to Demolition TV, checking basically on my health. Now, obviously, in the, the six or eight weeks since we did our last Demolition, Demolition TV, I have lost a lot of weight. I assure you it's completely deliberate. Quick story, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. My wife took that as a warning of a, an impending heart attack and has had me on a very, very strict carb-free diet. I've stripped best part of three stone in weight, hence the reason I look thinner. So no issues with, with my health. It was all entirely deliberate. But what it re really did show was the number of people that actually saw that and took the time and took the effort to get in touch to make sure that I was actually okay. So to those people that did that, thank you. Second thing is the reaction to the Demolition magazine. I've had emails, I've had phone calls, I've had text messages, Facebook messages, highlighting basically the, the fact that I'd got the nail on the head with our Light in the Dark article, which is some, something of a relief to me because you know, certainly the dark part of it, it was very heartfelt. I, you know, I do tend to look at the dark side of the industry because I, feel, I care about it, I, I feel passionate about it. Uh, and I know sometimes that comes across as, as pessimism and, and just bad mood, but it really isn't, it is just passion. So the very fact that industry professionals have shared my opinion on that means an awful lot to me, so thank you to you as well. But the biggest thanks, I think, goes to a couple of our first founder members of the Demolition Club. Just to recap, we've, we've started a Patreon campaign, and again, details are in the description below, to help certain people get hold of the magazine and to get information and feedback and that kind of thing that they wouldn't normally get through Demolition Magazine. And they are paying for the privilege. Now, what two of the, the founder patrons on the Patreon scheme actually took the time to get in touch to say that they didn't do it just to get a free copy of the magazine, although they will. They didn't do it to get one of our demolition lapel badges, even though they will. They did it because they believe in what we're doing at Demolition News and at Demolition Magazine, Demolition TV, and they wanted to support it. In other words, they were basically giving me a tip or a, almost like a Netflix subscription. So to you two people, you know who you are. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for, for doing that. that. It always means a lot when somebody supports what you do but to actually put your your hand in your pocket and the people we're talking about here aren't company directors you know they're not people with lots and lots of money these are people further down the career ladder people that will actually notice that money coming out of their account so from the bottom of my heart and from the the, the team here at demolition news i thank you for that um so please keep watching Please check out our Patreon link. Um, we are starting to get a bit of momentum there and there is information and video and content that is going specifically to the people that are supporting us. So if you haven't done so already, go and have a look. And if you can, if you can support us, we'd be really, really grateful. And thanks for watching.